Hi, this is Nathan Oxenfeld with Integral Eyesight Improvement in Asheville, North Carolina. Today I'll be teaching you about a simple yet powerful practice used in the Bates Method called palming. Even though the Bates Method has only been around for about a hundred years, palming has much more ancient roots in yoga, qigong, and other healing modalities that have been around for thousands of years. So people have known about palming and have been palming for a long time, so I invite you to join me in learning about it and applying it in your daily life. First I'll start by describing palming, uh, a few tips about how to get into the right posture, and then I'll invite you to palm your eyes while I continue to explain the purpose and the benefits that you'll receive by palming. Most people's palms are designed to fit pretty perfectly over your eye orbits. So in summary, we're just going to be covering our eyes with our palms in a very comfortable way and finding a way to rest our elbows so that we don't have to strain anywhere because the purpose of palming is to achieve relaxation and increase circulation to the eyes. And so, you know, you don't want to be holding, have to hold your arms up um, just floating in air because that might create some tension in your neck or shoulders or arms and so as you can if you're watching this video at a desk it helps to rest your elbows on the desk you can even put a blanket or a pillow here to rest your elbows on and that way your arms are supported and you can just totally relax there's a couple other options as well if you're not at a desk you can always use some sort of pillow to place underneath your elbow so you just place your pillow on your lap and then you can rest your elbows there and that's pretty comfortable as well if you don't have a pillow you can always just use your knees as well so I'll demonstrate how that looks if you're in your chair you can just rest your elbows down on your thighs or your knees but you don't want to compromise your posture by slouching your neck or your lower back so I want to keep my lower back straight and my neck extended so I'm maintaining nice elongation and space all throughout the spine. Another option as well is to palm while you're lying down. So you, even when you're laying in bed in the morning or before you go to bed, you can just lay down in your bed and it doesn't take very much energy to hold up your arms in that position. You can even put a pillow on your chest to support your arms. The main goal, once again, is just to maintain a nice upright and comfortable position to allow for free circulation. So I'm going to use my desk here and I'll invite you to do the same. So a lot of people like to generate some heat in their palms before placing them over their eyes. So to accomplish that, you can put your hands together and rub them back and forth using friction to create some heat. And once you feel some heat in your palms, we're going to start palming. So instead of having your hand flat, you want to create a little cup here because that's going to go right over your eye. So the, these knuckles here rest right on your eyebrow or right underneath. So sometimes I'll even lift my eyebrows, place those knuckles there, and then relax them down. And the heel of my hand is going to rest right on my cheekbone. So my hand fits really nicely over my eye. That little cave is creating a little cupping area. And the best position I've found is to cross the fingers of one hand over the other. So that angle in between the hands here fits right over my nose so that I can breathe easily. And so I'm not putting any pressure on my eyes. I'm not even touching my eyes. So my eyes should be able to blink and look around in all directions. And that helps because you can sort of see if there's any light coming through. So look around in all directions and make sure that there's no light leaking through and if there is, you can make any adjustments you need to. And once you're in the total darkness, you can close your eyes. And I like to do just a little mental scan of my body. So once I get into the palming position, I like to start by relaxing my palms, my hands, Travel up my arms, so relaxing my elbows and shoulders, and then up, relaxing my neck, my head, my face, my eyebrows, my forehead, my eyes. 
and I'll just go down, relax my shoulder blades, my abdomen, my back, my hips, down through my legs, my knees, my ankles, my feet. So once again, the purpose of palming is to achieve total relaxation of the entire body as well as the eyes. And I'm barely putting any pressure on my face. I want to allow the free circulation of blood up to the eyes and all through the face. So some of the benefits of palming are first of all the darkness that you're achieving by blocking out all the light. It's very soothing for your optic nerve, which is one of the largest nerves in the body. It travels from the back of your eye through your brain to the visual cortex in the very back of the brain. And it's stimulated by light. And so when you block out all the light, it gets a little chance to rest, which is very important. And it may actually even take a few moments or minutes for your optic nerve to really release and relax. So if when you get into palming you don't experience total uh, blackness or darkness, that may be because your optic nerve is still uh, has some residual activity from light that you've taken in earlier in the day. And that's why it's good to palm for several minutes because you'll achieve the full relaxation that way. So in the darkness the eye is very relaxed. The warmth from your palms is also very relaxing to the six muscles around each eye and also all the involuntary muscles inside the eye. So in the darkness and the warmth your pupil dilates, all those muscles inside relax. And also, as any uh, you know, holistic healer or Reiki practitioner knows, there are some minor chakras in the palms, and there's magnetism here. It's a pretty considerable channel for healing. And so by placing your own palms directly over your eyes, you're, you're healing yourself. So you can just imagine you know, sending energy through your palms, into your eyes, through your optic nerve, all the way through your brain, back to the visual cortex. That way you can send relaxation through your entire visual system. Sort of rebooting your system in a very relaxed way. Now this is just the first step of palming, of getting into the position, palming the eyes, and spending a few moments in darkness and warmth, which is very beneficial on a physical level. The second step of palming is incorporating the mind, giving the mind something to focus on, to focus your attention on, and for that, you can listen to some of the other videos I'll be putting up where I'll be describing some guided visualizations. You want to be careful when you come out of your palming because your pupils have dilated. So you want to keep your eyes closed as you gently remove your hands from your eyes and you can Pivot your head side to side with your eyes closed to allow your eyes to readjust to the light in the room or if you're doing it outside to the light of the sun. And then you just want to sort of gently, you want to turn away from the light and gently blink your eyes back open. And if your eyes haven't adjusted yet, you can just close them again and continue uh, allowing that process to happen. But you just want to be careful, you don't want to just open your eyes and take your hands off your palms, uh, especially if it's really bright out. So that's about it for palming. 
I feel a lot more relaxed uh, just after palming for a few moments. Hopefully you do as well. Um, this is something that I recommend that people do on a daily basis. You really can't palm too, you know, too much or enough. Um, most people overwork their eyes and so it's really good to give your eyes the rest they need, the rejuvenation they deserve. So I like to palm first thing when I wake up in the morning, right before I go to bed at night, and then really, you know, I look for any opportunities throughout the day to just, even if it's just for, you know, a moment or two, it's really nice to just give your eyes a little break. So uh, let me know how your palming goes and uh, what types of benefits you experience. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest and relaxation that you get from palming.